guys, Dr. Lori Sesnick from Mind Matters talking about processing speed. Processing speed is the efficiency for which we can perform fine visual motor tasks. The efficiency for which we can perform fine visual motor tasks. When scientists are referring to processing speed, technically they're referring to the speed in which it takes us to think, to recognize or understand something that is presented to us. The problem with this, however, is it's something very difficult to measure. Even with our most advanced tools like fMRI, it's very difficult to figure out the speed in which thinking has occurred. fMRI does a great job at showing us where activity happened, but it really is kind of lousy at figuring out the speed in which it happened. Other tools do a better job, like magnetoencephalograph, but we are always presented with a problem as scientists when measuring processing speed, and that is it is still extremely difficult to really figure out at what point did someone comprehend something or truly come to recognize something. As a result, as neuropsychologists in our office, uh, without daily access to these million dollar machines that do not measure processing speed well anyway, we're limited to what we can do at the table in our office. So generally what we do is we present visual tasks and we record the time it takes people to respond to those visual tasks. We tend to choose visual over auditory due to the complications that come with using auditory stimuli like ruling out uh, working memory, auditory attention and other things. So processing speed tasks tend to be visual in nature and the response is of course motor. So what is processing speed? Processing speed is the efficiency for which people can perform visual motor tasks. So the term processing speed has evolved to refer to the efficiency of visual motor performance. So when you hear that term being referenced by a neuropsychologist saying, for example, you have weak processing speed, that means you're inefficient at fine visual motor tasks. An example of a fine visual motor task would be copying from a blackboard. You've got the visual information, fine meaning small, like with your hands, and you're gonna transcribe that information onto your paper, motor meaning movement. That's an example of a fine visual motor task. Another example might be learning to play guitar, manipulating your fingers and looking where they go. That's an example, an example of an application for um, fine visual motor. Um, beating, all kinds of things. Uh, those are fine visual motor tasks, and when those types of, when you were inefficient at those types of tasks, we refer to that as processing speed. Uh, processing speed can fail due to weak motor skills, weak visual spatial skills, and or issues with vision, and or coordinating motor and visual information. So we do testing to figure out uh, if someone has weak processing speed, that why? Why is it weak? Is it the motor component? Is it the visual spatial component? Or is it the coordination of the two? And once we understand why processing speed is weak, we know how to address it most directly. Who's at risk for weak processing speed? And what does it do, really? How does it impact our lives? Children who are developing and they're having a hard time with buttons and zippers and learning to tie their shoes, maybe hard hard time manipulating utensils for eating and, and obviously learning to write, are uh, candidates for possible weak processing speed. And sometimes they end up in the OT room learning how to manipulate their hands a little better. If they're not holding their pen or pencil correctly, don't worry about it. They'll find their own way. They'll make it efficient in their own way or not efficient, but they need to sort of manipulate uh, how their brain and hand wants them to manipulate. So don't worry about how they're holding it, their, their um, writing utensil. At any rate, they might end up in the OT room. They, uh, depending on the cause of the weak processing speed, there's other things that we can do. They could possibly learn to keyboard without looking at the keys to get very fast written output far faster than one would ever get with hand manipulation. So if motor skills are okay, and it's the, non, the, the visual spatial and or coordination of motor and visual, learning the keyboard without looking at the screen and or keys would uh, bypass that problem and allow much greater written output. Um, obviously using voice to print software bypasses the problem altogether. So if you can speak into your phone and have it type for you, great. Or speak into your computer and have it type for you, we bypass the problem altogether. So weak processing speed means the efficiency for which we can perform fine visual motor tasks 
Uh, an example of how it can be frustrating would be if you talk fast, like I do, if you think fast and talk fast, but your hand is uh, going like molasses, that can be a very frustrating process when you just can't get your thoughts out on paper in an efficient manner. So weak processing speed leads to something we call dysgraphia, which is a disorder of written expression, which can be acquired and or developmental. So that is what processing speed is. Those are some of the ways that we can test for it and address it. And any questions, just email me and let's talk about it. I'm Dr. Lori Sesek for Mind Matters. See you next time.